What's up everybody? Software Dev Jason here. It's Friday night and I am on my way home from work. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I still have my laptop with me so I still have to do some work over the weekend. But, man, something right here smells like soap. Every time I drive past here, it smells like soap. Like really strong soap. I guess this can be a little mini uh, commute video. Some of the other uh, average Joes like myself uh, seem to like to do a commute video. And uh, a commute home is about the only option for me. I have to be at work at 7 in the morning. Well, in the summer I could do it, I guess. But commute to work is dark. It's pretty much dark while I'm on my way to work. And there's several ways I can go home. Uh, I can go down a bunch of back roads, but there's not as many people and things to see going that way, so I figured I'd go this way, which may be a little more entertaining after I cut the video, but I'll tell you what, it's one hell of a boring ride in real life because five o'clock Friday night, right in the middle of the heart of Mooresville, North Carolina, traffic is ridiculous. The weather's kind of uh, interesting. Last weekend, it was up into the 70s. I mean, it was beautiful for riding, but then it got cold again. I mean, it's been in the 30s this week, and I can ride in the 30s. I just don't prefer it, and I definitely don't prefer it if it's 30s and, like, you know, 40% chance of rain, because it never fails. You know, if it's less, less than 50% chance of rain in the past when I've chanced it, it's always ended up raining. I don't mind riding in the rain. I don't really care that much. Most of my gear is waterproof, but I, I usually wear work pants. Uh which are just normal slacks and uh, with some armor underneath them. And if those get wet, I have to have a second change of clothes. Even if I don't get wet, even if I have more clothes, it's just a hassle. It's not that fun riding in the rain. And it never fails too that it's not just raining. It's like that really bad type of rain, you know, for riding a motorcycle. Uh, a normal drizzle is okay. Or even sometimes kind of a harder rain is okay on a motorcycle. But when you got that mist, it's like you're just riding through a, a misty cloud the whole way to work. You know, that shit doesn't come off your visor. It's just a pain. Like when you got actual water droplets on your visor, you know, you just turn your head one way or the other and the wind blows it right off. It's really efficient. My winter gloves, my winter gloves don't have squeegees on them. You know, the, the misty stuff is a pain. I try to avoid that. And there's another concern too. And for any of you who, uh, who are a working professional, meaning that you have a full-time job with benefits and it is, uh, it's a career for you. Generally speaking, you're, you know, you're wearing um, some kind of clothing or something that represents the organization you work for. Some of my organizational apparel is hidden with my motorcycle gear, but not all of it. So I really hate to make the company I work for look bad by doing anything stupid just one of those other things you gotta you gotta remember that the things you do kind of reflect on other people as well now on the weekend that's a different story there's no affiliation none uh oh my wife's calling me i really need to get a cena or a santa cena santa or some type of bluetooth device where i can answer the phone so i can can it what answer this is dangerous not recommended uh, uh, I can't answer it I would just answer it and start screaming at her wildly it's no point it's no point yeah I really need some kind of Bluetooth uh, some kind of Bluetooth device I'm pretty sure I know what I want to get but the I haven't needed it enough to drop that kind of cash on it. I really like the, the Cena, Cena, or whatever it's called, S-E-N-A. should just start spelling things because I don't know the pronunciation. My niece is sponsored by a Cherbies. I think I got it right that time. A Cherbies, a Cherbies, a Cherbies. So it's spelled A-C-E-R-B-I-S or something. And everyone says Acerbus, Acerbus. I've said it any way you can imagine I've said it but 
I should know this because my niece is sponsored by them and I need to know the name and I need to be able to pronounce it right. I'm just going to start spelling everything because I never fails if I pronounce if I pronounce it wrong someone will someone will let me know and I'll feel like an idiot. But I guess it's even worse if I spelt it wrong too, huh? Cena or Santa headsets. I like those. They have a lot of functionality built in. Uh, it's a little overkill for what I would use it for right now. I'm, uh, I'm perfectly content with my, just my microphone and uh, the GoPro adapter as far as the uh, sound. So pretty sure I left at 5 o'clock exactly. It's 5.13. And I've gone like 3 miles. There's a lot of transplants here. Is that the correct term? Transplants? Uh, is it not from this area? Non-natives? Non-Mooresvillians? Nothing wrong with that, I guess. I'm not really from Mooresville. I'm from about 10 miles, 10 miles west of Mooresville. I'm talking to people from other states. There's a lot of other license plates around. International House of Pancakes. What's this a regional, a regional chain? So I found that there's a few other moto vloggers in this area, and I wasn't really looking for them. I never really, didn't really cross my mind I, until I seen a guy, and I'm not sure who that guy was, and I'm not sure he was even moto vlogging. He just been, may have been wearing his GoPro for something he was doing earlier, maybe some off roading or something. But I ran into that DRZ, and from one of the other videos, I didn't, I didn't really talk to the guy, uh, but he passed me on the other side of the road. It was set up as a supermoto bike. Well, by that, it just, I mean, it just had street tires on it. It didn't have any 50-50s or, or anything like that. He had a GoPro on, so I started thinking. I started getting curious. I went, well, I wonder if there's someone else that's uh, moto-vlogging in the area. So I just did a quick little search for it. And found there's a, there's a couple in this vicinity. They seem to be quite a bit younger than me. Not that I'm old. They seem to be more uh, early 20s, or as I, I guess I'm... Am I considered late 20s? It's 27, late 20s. It's like that's that's mid mid late twenties. Not that that really matters that much. It's just an observation. Anyway, seem like pretty cool guys. They got their uh, they got I think all of them have more more subscribers than I do. And there may be some other ones that I'm not aware of. I just, I found two or three, and I forget their names. When I'm in a car in that lane, this this lane ends down there past the QT, past that last exit at the QT, and that's why this lane over here is packed full of cars. Now when I'm in a car. I am relentless. I mean, you have to be aggressive, or you just no one will no one will let you go. Um, when I'm in that lane, I don't normally let maybe one car cut in the line. You get kind of bitter about it because you sit in this line. You sit in this line for like three times longer than anyone that comes in this lane. Probably four times longer, just because you know this lane ends over here, and you don't want to cause a bunch of traffic mess up here, and so. When I'm in a car, I'll stay in that lane, and anyone who comes flying down this lane trying to get in, I am just relentless, and so is everyone else. I mean, people will speed up and stay beside the people just to not let them in. They get really aggressive down here, and, and the fact is, is this lane shouldn't end. I mean, this should be four lanes. Um, it should be four lanes for a long way down this road, and you got all this traffic here going into a two-lane road, and it's just a, it's just a mess. But these cars up there are just battling, just trying to get into that lane. looking bet right there bet <clears throat> this guy's a Michigan Michigan State fan
So yeah, those cops are always there. It's a big uh, steam station, I believe. Yeah, it's a steam station. Has a lot of employees there. And uh, I think they they get the uh, sheriff's department to assist them in getting out of their own parking lot. What the heck is these? Fucking turkeys, man. What are you all doing? Now, that's something you don't see all the time, and, and most people don't know that. Turkeys can fly for short periods of time. Those are all turkeys right there. And they won't fly far, like a chicken. They'll fly and land somewhere, but they can fly from, as you've seen, one side of the road to the other pretty easily. I mean, how do you think they get up in trees? Kind of like a chicken. Not that I would suggest doing it. I mean, you can throw a chicken off a house and it's just going to fly down. <laughs> that sounds horrible, throwing chickens off houses.